Just bring you guys a quick post fight thoughts video of the Shuchiro Yoshino versus Masayoshi Nakatani fight. They recently fought over in Japan. Fight was scheduled for 12 rounds, but the fight ended in the sixth round with Yoshino winning the fight by knockout. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps with the video, it helps with the channel. I really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, I was at work when this fight was happening. Honestly, I was busy at work and it was hard for me to score the fight. But it looked like Nakatani was doing pretty well early on, just using his height and reach. Uh, but he was getting hit with some clean shots here and there. And slowly, he started to get hit more and more and more as the fight went on. And eventually, uh, he got hurt in the fifth, got dropped in the fifth. Um, in the sixth round, he was super aggressive. I guess in the sixth round... Uh, Nakatani realized like it's now or never so he, he gave it his all landed some good shots on Yoshino but Yoshino took them pretty well and Yoshino pretty much uh, you know fired fire with fire fought fire with fire back and uh, he was able to hurt Nakatani more uh, it looks like the punches of Yoshino was just putting more damage uh, on Nakatani more uh, which led to the, the knockout win for Yoshino. I mean, if you look at the face of Nakatani, it looked pretty busted up compared to Yoshino. Nakatani's punches wasn't really affecting Yoshino as much. So, so yeah, Yoshino proved why he is a top 15, top contender in the division. With this win, he remains undefeated, 16-0, 12 wins coming by way of knockout TK at the age of 31 years old. Oh, he needs to get things rolling. Uh, he needs to fight for that world title soon, ASAP. That's two big wins in a row against Masayuki Ito, former world champion, and now uh, you know against former top contender Nakatani. Going into this fight, um, you know he's up there in the rankings uh, over here. Uh, he's ranked number nine by the WBO, number thirteen by the IBF, eleven by the WBC, and number fifteen by the WBA. And now with this win, I'm sure the, the sanctioning bodies will take that into consideration and probably move him a spot or two, putting him one step closer to fighting for a world title. And hopefully eventually he fights one of these top 15 guys, top 10 guys to solidify his status and hopefully uh, lead, you know, help him fight for a world title once uh, either Devin Haney or whoever ends up being the champion next year moves up in weight or something. Um, because it, it won't be forever. If Devin Haney beats Lomachenko next year, I'm sure Lomachenko, I mean, I'm sure Devin Haney will move up in weight and vacate all these belts. So, um, uh, right now, Yoshino's goal should be trying to put himself in the position to possibly fight for those vacant belts in the near future. As for Nakatani, it's his third loss in his pro career, only losing to the likes of Teofimo Lopez, Vasily Lomachenko, and now Yoshino. Um, he's still a top contender, maybe a top 25, top 20 guy. Uh, but you know, right now, if he if he decides to keep fighting, uh, the best thing is to try just try to rebound, try to bounce back, and get some easy wins, and uh, you know, get that confidence back, and and you know, try to try to fight another top contender and see where you go from there. So that's not the end of the world for Nakatani, but uh, you know, I'm sure he can give a lot of people a run for their money at 135 pounds. Anyway. If you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.